Welcome to another episode of What's New in the S2M Center 2012 R2. In this video, we're going to be going over the new nesting features in the S2M Center. The first feature is found in the machine catalog. The machine catalog, you ask? But there was a whole video dedicated to the machine catalog. Why didn't we cover it there? Well, this is a nesting feature, so we thought we'd throw it in the nesting video. The new feature is found in the Setup tab, so let's move there real quick. Next I want to scroll down so I can get to the Small Parts section. And here you can see the two new features in the Machine Catalog. The Sheet Boundary for Small Parts, and the Sheet Boundary for Very Small Parts. Now what these options allow you to do is define a distance from the edge of your sheet that small parts or very small parts are not allowed to be placed by the S2M Center. The next couple of features can be found in the System Preferences for the S2M Center, so let's go ahead and go there. The first new feature can be found on the Geometry tab. You can now see one of the new features, the Ignore Operations Outside of Parts Nest Boundary. What that means is when this checkbox is checked, any operations that are outside of the outline of the part will be ignored by the S2M Center. The next feature we want to look at is in the Ordering tab. And here you see the final new feature for nesting, the Minimize Sixth Face Patterns. What this allows you to do is set the cabinet ordering so that the minimum amount of sheets are used for sixth face operations. This concludes the video about the new features of the S2M Center 2012 R2. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any additional questions, please visit the S2M Center website at www.screentomachine.com.